you don't need any degree to apply for this and this is not a school okay so you'll be paid maximum of 426 euro and you also get access to free accommodation or in most cases if you are going to pay for the accommodation the cost will not be up to what you are supposed to pay for you are going to be getting paid for your health, nursing care, accident, and any other expenses that might come up, okay? You must be at least a minimum of 18 years of age if you want to apply for this opportunity. Note, this is a work opportunity for you in one of the top European countries where you can work and make up to 426 euro yourself with accommodation you don't need any proof of fund you don't need any IAS. you don't need any degree you can migrate with your family all the information you need about this particular program is what i will be sharing with you in today's video so i want you to click on that like button so that other people can, that are looking for information like this can easily find it okay so the first thing we need to know is the procedure we need to follow how we can apply what are the people that are helping you to process this application every other information in between okay so if at any point you have any question please make sure you drop them at the comment box this is an opportunity that is currently open in germany and there is no age limit okay so the minimum age requirement is 18 so once you are 18 years of age then you are good to apply to this opportunity this particular program is called the Bundi Frey Willingen DN. Okay, so if I don't pronounce it very well, just pardon me. But the short form of this program is BFD. Okay, so first of all, you need to get a BFD placement. And once you get a BFD placement from some of this employer that I will be showing you right now, it is after this you will now plan to apply for your visa note that some of these employer they have different programs or different feed of interest where you can apply note this is not a uh, a program that you can just apply to and abandon it if you apply to this program there's a particular time frame when you need to start your program because it will be written on the letter that is given to you by the employer okay so if you scroll up to go and look for more information you are going to see that you need a uh, little knowledge about the german language key so if you go to the lingo app you can start learning how to communicate hello good morning just basic greetings and uh basic conversation in german okay so if you have this then it is good okay so here it says it is recommended to speak on a level or a2 german and most cases most of them re will require b1 okay but once you can communicate once you can do greetings i think uh, in french once you can do greetings and uh do some expression you are good then that is what we have under the a1 okay so under here you can see that in our opinion the bfd is suitable for foreigners who want to learn german or who have to bridge a transition before and after their study or training okay so you know their own uh, perspective about this particular program is that most of the people that apply to this program are saying they want to bridge or they want to learn the german language but in most in, in, in the scenario we know what is going behind the scene okay so if you understand very well then you should know what i'm talking about okay in a bfd program typical activities are in the area of epping this can be in the medical institution so these are area where you will be working where you will get volunteer programs remember this is a volunteer programs and you will be paid 426 euro you will also have access to free accommodation you can migrate with your family with this opportunity okay so uh places like hospital social institution like schools or home for elderly or disabled one also might help in youth club churches cultural institution like association library libraries or in tourism okay also one might support with activities to protect environment or help animal applicants should not expect to take over position with high responsibility although this might be the case concrete tax and condition very much depend from your host organization 
okay so you need to understand that these are area whereby you don't need high qualification to participate in it so this is why i told you at the beginning that you don't even need any degree to participate in this volunteer program right now okay if you also come to this session where it says what is bfd in german this is a federal uh, volunteer service is a voluntary service of german or foreign women and men people of any age can apply the federal volunteer service is also uh, about people getting involved for the common good in germany okay for this reason the bfd position are offered in the area of social service health ecology and nature uh, conservation culture and science or in the area of sport integration and uh, coexistence or civil defense and disaster control employee entities can be german association and organization the public sector and non-profit company so if you understand this now you should be calculating uh where your interest will lies right so where uh, your interest will be okay now let's go to a uh, list of people who are actually uh uh participating or list of uh companies that are participating that you can apply to note for you to apply or for you to easily migrate these are the steps first you need to make sure that you've gotten a placement from a bfd approved company i'm going to show you the list uh very soon so you need to make sure you've gotten a placement from them once you get a placement from them you process all your uh, application with them and you get a placement then the next thing you need to do is to go to the next stage which is to start processing your visa application and uh, to start your uh, traveling right okay first once you check uh, after you've gotten the placement you need to check the visa requirement from your home country and you also need to meet all the uh, eligibility, uh, eligibility criteria Foreigner must make sure that they meet all the criteria that is listed by the BFD uh, program uh, companies. Okay, once you've done this, then you need to obtain a residence permit. So, if you are accepted into the BFD program, you will need to obtain a resident permit to stay in Germany for the duration of the program. You can apply for resident permit at your local immigration uh, area. Okay, and you also need to submit application okay a motivation letter and your cv to the organization offering the bfd program you may also need to provide reference and undergo a medical examination in most cases because if you are participating in area like uh uh medical uh areas like we've seen here like uh, medical institutions like hospital and social institution they might ask you to participate or to do some uh, medical examination just to go and do your medical they will give you the list of uh, medical uh, examination you need to do so once you've done all of this then you need to proceed uh to the next step okay the organization may invite you for an interview in most cases to assess your suitability for the for the program the interview will also be con uh, conducted online so the most time they will do it via google meet uh via zoom via team okay so just make sure you are available once you've done this then this is after uh they are convinced with your suitability then you will receive a placement offer from them the offer will include the details such as when you are going to start the duration of the program the tax that is assigned to you all the information you need about this particular bfd program okay when you receive the offer then you need to uh you need to sign the agreement so you will need to sign this agreement outline uh the term and condition applied to your tax then once you are okay with it then you need to go ahead to start your journey okay so all of this information you can find it here so i've just given you a summary overview of everything so that i don't uh keep reading everything on this page for you okay so if this program interests you and you wish to use this to migrate to uh germany right now or with your family then this is the time you need to apply immediately okay apply immediately and if you come to this section i think uh 
on this session i have the list of of the people who are participating okay so these are the names of the company that are actually participating right now uh this you know these names are somehow uh, about uh, wolf arts caritax german red cross their cons uh pari paritatish okay so central welfare office of the jew in germany bfd that's why it's own of the attraction for international so these are the organization that you need to pick their name now to go and search for them to apply for this uh, opportunity right now note that the area of interest where you can uh, work is in sports or club schools sponsor of ecology nursing homes museum cultural hospitals municipal daycare center children homes youth facilities okay so make sure you have all this information with you if you have any question regarding this drop them at the comment box and one other thing i want to tell you is that this program is valid for minimum of six months and the maximum of one year so after you've actually apply to the program and you've been given uh, an opportunity you you can migrate to germany then uh, take this program up to uh, 24 months then there's a particular place where they said you can actually apply for other things because once you uh, finish your program uh, let me look for this after your uh, bfd program you can actually decide to take on a uh, vocational uh, uh, vocational uh, studies to work in a proper organization you can try to apply for schools okay so let me look at uh, the section where we have that information so you you are not meant to come back to your home country so after this one year of the program you can actually uh, continue to stay in Germany take up programs okay so here it says the applicants also often emphasize that the possibility of terminating the BFD is very attractive to them. Quite a few applicants regularly want to take up the offer of a BFD to bridge the time until they start their study or an apprenticeship in Germany. Okay, so you can see now, after the D, uh, the BFD program, you can decide to, to, to apply to uh, German schools and most of the German schools that are tuition free, it will be easy for you because at the point where you are in Germany, you're actually taking some uh, German language courses. So uh, you're actually uh, relating with them. You know the do's and don'ts. You know how to navigate yourself. Okay. So I think it's a good offer for you to take up right now. So if this interests you, come to this section. Go and search for the name of this employer. I'm going to drop this link at the description of the video so that you can easily go there and go and pick the names and go and start your application right now. Okay. So today I'm going to catch up with you in another one. Peace. Thank you.